My name is Stephen Ritz, and I am CEO, Chief Eternal Optimist of Bronx County. We're going to actually grow our own lunch. We're going to grow our own food today. We're going to go from sea to plate. A towel garden is like this plant, but you don't need soil. And then the water comes up, and then it comes down and rain on the roots. Adults think you can't farm in the South Bronx. Tell it to these kids. They're farming. For so many, food is the problem. Yet for all of us, food is a solution. We have some of the highest rates of juvenile diabetes and juvenile obesity in the nation. And we can change that. We absolutely have the power to change schools in this generation. I think I still see the seed. That, that happens. Exactly. You mean I can pass it around and they can see the seed absolutely. in the plant? My job is to teach kids how we can grow food. And I'm asking everyone to roll up their sleeves and get a little dirty and grow something greater. He lets us plant stuff like salad, cucumbers, tomatoes. My fourth and fifth graders came into a classroom with no windows to build a tower garden and literally turned it into a farm. And we talked about how healthy food builds healthy minds and healthy bodies. And where are we doing it? Right here in school. So did everybody plant a seed? Yeah! yeah! The excitement and the joy that these little kids feel putting a seed in the ground and watching it blossom. OMG, as they say, this is their moment. I think he cares about us a lot and he wants us to learn and have fun at the same time. I'm not a farmer, but I'm planting. I'm planting seeds. He always says that seeds are like people because they need love and they grow and grow and grow to be successful people. To use 21st century technology, to generate food and to create this beautiful thing to sit by that you can actually eat is game changing. It's empowering. They're growing. The plants are growing and they're responsible for it. And when they know they can grow their own, they really start changing the way they see their relationship to the world and their place in it. I love it. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go back and then we're going to get some...